from Anshe Svar Beth El Emeth Congregation. It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of Parshat Vayetze, I Didn't Know. In our Parsha, Jacob has a famous dream of the ladder whose feet are on the ground. The head goes up to the heavens and the angels are going up and down. When he wakes up from his dream, he says, Behold, there, indeed there is, there is a God in this place, and I didn't know. The Pardes Yosef was a rabbi who died in 1942. He was a businessman, but a tremendous scholar, pouring in tremendous scholarship. It was commentary on, on Chomish. And he quotes Rabbi Shimon, and he, he died in 1942, probably in the Lodge Ghetto. He quotes uh, Shimshin uh, from Astropolia, who uh, was a victim of the Chamelensky pogroms in the 1600s, and he says as follows. Uh, but uh, he says, there is God in this place. You know where? Achen. What's Achen? On the throne of God, God rests on a throne that has different faces, and it has, as it says in the beginning of Ezekiel, Aryeh, a lion representing the great power of God. And it has Kruv, has a cherub, representing the beauty and mysticism and the holiness of God. And the Nesher, uh, the, the uh, eagle, representing the soaring greatness of God. The eagle is grand, very majestic, and it soars so high. So God rests on that throne of, the, of those ideas. He knew that, achen, he knew that these things were representatives of God. They were, let's say, not representative, let's say they, these are things which, which uh, God's image is reflected in, the, in some way through these three things, God rests on those images. However, I didn't know that the fourth thing, number one, I didn't know I didn't know that on my face is engraved on the holy throne. You see, it says in Ezekiel that, that one, one side was the face of a person. Whose face was the rabbi say? No, his image was Chakuk was on the throne of God, the divine throne, the, the th throne of glory, Jacob's face is engraved there. He says, I didn't, that I didn't know, that I was on the divine throne. I had no idea. Or putting it another way, says the rabbi, he says, I, I, did, I didn't know that it was Aleph Aryeh, Nun Nesher, Chaf Kruv, the cherub, and also Yud, Yaakov, I didn't know that I was the fourth repository of God. What does this mean? That he learned at that point that the role of the human being is to be a repository for God in this world. We talked about the idea that Sarah's tent and Rachel's tent, and I'm sorry, Rebecca's tent, oh, were places that divine presence rested, as, as was evident from the blessing that always was in the dough, as was blessing from the candle that lasted from one, one Shabbos to the next, like Hanukkah, where we see the presence of God because of the miracles that are there, and because of the cloud that was cloud of God, the cloud of glory that was rested on top of the tent of Sarah and Rebekah, because they were repositories of God. And now Jacob, Jacob understands that wherever he is, is a repository for God. Does it mean the, the forefathers were Merkava Lashchina? They were like a train. They were like a wagon for the Shekhinah. Wherever the Shekhinah, wherever they were, is a good place for God to rest. It's a good footstool for God, wherever Jacob was, because he made room for them, for God to be. That's our dream, that's our hope, that we could, that each one of us could be a Merkava Lashkina, not going to be on the level of Jacob, but our face is not going to be the poster child on the throne of God, but that God could rest with us. Let our Shabbos tables be places that are holy enough that God could rest there. Let our families be places with enough peace in them that God could rest there. Let our 
study of Torah and our base, but hey, measures places where we study, our shuls up at taking asset, be holy enough that God could rest there. He says, I know does. But of course, this idea that God rests with us is not so surprising. After all, we're made in the image of God, which some say has to do with the neshama. The soul, our soul, uh, is a blessing from God, is a, a creation from God. So, of course, we were blessed with uh, spiritual endowment, tzel mokim, the image of God, the possibility of God resting with us. Of course, batachsereyu mat melokim, one of the early uh, psalms says that God made us just a little less than an angel. Chavod v'adar datreyu, that God adorns us with glory, with many of the characteristics of God, the, the same characteristics that a, that a lion or or a cherub, or a, 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 an eagle has, human beings are endowed with that as well. We have that ability to reflect some of the greatness of God. I know, if Jacob didn't know, sometimes, maybe, maybe often, we don't realize it. We don't realize the potential we have to make place for God in this world, to open up a door for God to come in, to be a repository of God. Jacob was so holy that wherever he went, he saw the camps of angels at the end of the Parsha. He, angels going up and down at the beginning of the Parsha. Angels escorting him to and from Israel in the beginning of the Parsha. Dreams of angels and helping him with his business. Indeed, we can be repositories of God's image, but we just have to know it. And once we know that, we know that we have that potential as human beings to be the resting place for God. That's our role as a Jewish people, is to pl- make a place for God here on earth. That our goal is that one day they'll call Jerusalem not simply Yerushalayim, they'll call it Hashem Shama. That God is there, that Jerusalem makes enough space for God. There's justice, there's righteousness, there's proper behavior, there's holiness. That Hashem Shama, let the nations of the world point to Jerusalem and say, God is there, because it's so palpable, so evident that God is present with us. That's our hope. That's our dream. That's our goal. To each one of us to aspire to be just a little bit like Yaakov Avinu, to be the poster child that God could rest with you. It's our goal. It's our dream. It's our prayer. It's our hope. Let's hope that each day we can make a little stride toward being that place where God can rest. Thank you for joining us here at the Anshis Fire with the Congregation for our discussion of Parsha Vayetze. Join us each week for a discussion of the holidays and the image of God, the recent series on the image of God. Check it out as well. And thanks to Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. To learn more, visit asb.org.